I'm a little better today. But my, my leg, my back, my hand. Luis Senores' aches and pains aren't signs of old age. It's just that the legally blind, tiny 103-year-old was no match for her much larger alleged mugger. I thought it was a man, because I, but they told me it's a woman. The suspect caught on surveillance camera pushing a shopping cart followed Louise into her co-op city building in the Bronx yesterday afternoon as she was returning home from a nearby nutrition center with food. The two rode up in the elevator together to Louise's floor. When the elevator door opened, Louise says the suspect followed her into the hallway, threw her to the ground, then grabbed her shopping cart before running down these steps with both shopping carts. She also swiped the two prepared meals Louise went to pick up. My friend says I know who she is because she's around Co-op City all the time. She said maybe she knows you. Late this morning, police arrested 53-year-old Sharon McNeil of the Bronx. She's been charged with robbery, assault, and harassment. As for the victim, she's still a little shaken up but doesn't plan to change her routine. I'm going to go out. I'm not going to stop going now. But, you know, you're still a little nervous. The former administrative assistant for the MTA has been living here on her own for three decades. And you're a very independent woman. I do everything myself. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. To what do you attribute your 103 years of seemingly good health? Active. Active. Being active. I danced yesterday. I danced yesterday morning. And she's adored by her neighbors. Thank God that she's okay. Her spirit, sharp as a tack, her mind is on the ball. It's a privilege to know her, really. I mean, she gives me hope. <laughs> In Co-op City, Ellen Marks, PIX11 News.